Isso, o Lua Sainz. Yeah, Strap Visa. Sainz, safety. Sainz, safety. Isso, o Lua Sainz. Yeah, Strap Visa. Sainz, safety. Isso, o Lua Sainz. Yeah, Strap Visa. Sainz, safety. Isso, o Lua Sainz. Yeah, Strap Visa. It's cause he farts high. Isn't the asshole loose? Gets fist in the ass. It's cause he farts high. Isn't the asshole loose? Gets fist in the ass. It's cause he farts high. Isn't the asshole loose? Gets fist in the ass. Gets fist in the ass. Cause he farts high. Isn't the asshole loose? Tonight, a Cincinnati priest is in jail after being indicted on nine counts of rape. Father Jeff Drew is accused of raping an altar boy three decades ago. Drew was... Nine counts of rape. Gets fist in the ass. Altar boy. In the pew. Placed on leave from St. Ignatius last month. If convicted, he faces life in prison. New at 11, we're also hearing about new allegations involving a local friar. Chief investigative reporter Craig... Soon, you'll learn astrophysics, asshole physics, asshole physic. Gets fist in the ass. Mistakes were made, but this does not sound like a mistake. If you believe what's in this report, this was a system. This was the system. Absolutely. I mean, it's quite clear that this doesn't cut it anymore. The church is not. Thousands of children's. Shout thousands of children. Soon they'll be learning asshole physics. Get fist in the ass. Get fist in the ass. Eh? Teach them well, eh? Entitled to talk about mistakes at all. Uh, one of the things that the grand jury sort of brings forth is that essentially the church, at least in the state of Pennsylvania and within the diocese, particular Pittsburgh, which is one third of where those people charged are from, was essentially operating as a criminal organization reception in that catholic nation the pope addressing the unrelenting shadow of scandal and international outrage speaking of the vatican's pain and shame but some gets fist in the ass why is the asshole loose calling it too little too late abc's david wright is with the pope in ireland learn your asshole physics learn your asshole physics Today in Dublin, Pope Francis got an earful about the church's response to the sexual abuse crisis. Some of the signs there in the crowd clearly not meant to welcome him. Above all, Holy Father, we ask that you listen to the victims and survivors. Pope Francis did listen, sitting down behind closed doors for an hour and a half meeting. With listen, you fucking filthy fucking muppet. Astrophysics is fucking pseudoscience. Pseudo means fake, sham, not fucking real. And guess what? Guess what, monkey? The uh, Vatican Church sure loves astrophysics. Astrophysics is number one on their list for looking at the stars and telling you what they are. And meanwhile, it's all about altar boy. In the pew. Eight survivors of clerical sexual. Why is the asshole loose? Why is the asshole loose? Gets fist in the ass? Abuse. We're hopeful that um, he, he will challenge what he referred to as the high church or the elite within the church. You think it's a fucking coincidence that words that are reversed? Scientific? Pseudoscience? Astrophysics? are all fucking sick in nature when you reverse them and tell you exactly what they're about? You think that's a fucking coincidence? Then you deserve exactly what you fucking get, bitch. Who are guilty of corruption and cover-up. He literally said that they were filth in the toilet. Francis acknowledged people have a right to be outraged by the church's response to what he called repulsive crimes against children. And, he said, it remains a source of pain and shame for the Catholic community. Yeah. Michael O'Brien... Yeah, pain and shame. Sorry. Yeah, but we're still running. Sorry. Yeah, but you're still under fucking Vatican rule. Sorry, but we're going to do it again. Sorry. Yeah, so they reported the news. Are they in jail? Uh, no, they're not. Just learn your astrophysics. 
Why is the ass so loose? Why is the ass so loose? Samat, what's the story? So the story is that somebody has told us that the Vatican has priests stationed here in these mountains who are doing research on space and even other inhabitable worlds. So I'm a Jesuit priest, but here in Tucson we have a research base of the Vatican Observatory. No, we are not doing anything strange. We're really doing science. We are not trying to find aliens that we could evangelize. In an intellectual sense, of course, science and doctrines of the world's organized religions are completely incompatible. They have been for hundreds of years. I find it very possible to both believe in stars and a creator. Given the nature of what's required to be part of the Vatican Observatory, you would expect the best scientists wouldn't be a part of it, because the best scientists are the general atheists. In science, what I think is happening is that we are somehow in this very strange dialogue, leading us, inviting us, um, beckoning us deeper into the mystery. So the Vatican Observatory has ties that go back several hundreds of years. But why I find this story particularly interesting now is when I heard about it, I called my friend Dave. He's been a science journalist longer than I could possibly remember. You mentioned this last week. I'd never heard of them before. I asked some people out here, and they basically said, what? Uh, very few people, you know, space journalists even. I just find that really weird. One astronomer, basically, who studies galaxies. Then we have an astronomer who studies stellar populations. The Vatican Observatory is a very small operation. In fact, there are only about 10 active scientists. Because of the curious way we are recruited, in other words, we need to be priests. Some type of a papal observatory has existed since 1582. The Vatican Observatory has been in Tucson since the beginning of 1981, so it's had a formal arrangement with the University of Arizona to have a research group. I think the Vatican Observatory doesn't have a, a big press office like, uh, like some of the rest of us do, so they came here when their site in Italy became too light polluted to really do forefront research. It didn't shock me when I found out that the Catholic Church was worried about dates and calendars. And what did surprise me was when I came here to Arizona and started meeting Vatican uh, Observatory astronomers to find out that they also were interested in magnetic white dwarfs and asteroids and something more than just the calendar. That, that was cool, and that was a bit of a surprise. The Vatican Observatory has never been a leading research establishment. That doesn't mean they're doing nonsense research. And as long as their mythology doesn't get in the way of their science, uh, it doesn't particularly bother me. Chris, what's going on right now? Where are we and what are these things around us? Uh, we're at the University of Arizona Mount Lemmon Sky Center. We're about 9,000 feet at the summit of Mount Lemmon. Uh, this is also known as Mount Lemmon Observatory. It's one of the facilities owned by the University of Arizona's Stewart Observatory. Is there some sort of conflict between belief in what the Bible has offered upon the creation of, of the Earth and research into what you're looking at, and that is inhabitable worlds in other stars and stars? I don't think so. Um, I don't think the Bible has much to say on the topic. And Nicholas of Cusa was probably the first individual who actually came up with the idea because the Earth is habitable and the, her, the Earth is a heavenly body. Other heavenly bodies are probably inhabitable too. And if they're habitable, they're probably inhabited. Well, so we are in a grinding and polishing room at the Mirror Lab. And these mirrors are used for large-scale telescopes, is that right? And it will be used in a very unique facility which will map the whole sky visible from that spot twice a week. I think people that are drawn to big questions of faith are also drawn to astronomy because you're asking very big questions.
These are the physical principles underlying the MK sequence. I study stars with all kinds of um, compositions. All this certainly does connect me with the Creator. God understands that as well. I've been a scientist for over 35 years and I've never heard the word mentioned in any scientific uh, meetings because God is unnecessary. We never discuss it because to understand the universe, you don't need to. God has been redundant for a long time. When it comes to astrophysics and the church, in fact, uh, I'm more and more beginning to realize that uh, there is a very deep connection between the two. And trying to understand it uh, realizes that the universe, in fact, wants to be understood. I get two signs. Sign of truth. I get two signs. Sign of truth. I get two signs. Sign of truth. I get two signs. Sign it simply, off you see. He's too far. It's fist in the ass. Isn't the ass so loose? Big up. He's too far. It's fist in the ass. Isn't the ass so loose? Big up. He's too far. It's fist in the ass. Isn't the ass so loose? Big up. He's too far. It's fist in the ass. Isn't the asshole loose? Big F? <laughs> Live by death in this disc. Live by death in this disc. Live by death in this disc. This disc. This disc. Live by death. Now let's you just drop them pants. Now let's you just drop them pants. Drop? Now let's you just drop them pants. Alter boy, in the pew. Drop? Oh, sit up, you fucking eat. Lord. One altar boy down, one altar boy to go. That's the training that's required to be an astro asshole physics. Remember, go to the Vatican. Alter boy in the pew. Learn your asshole physics. Point and declare. Tell everyone that you know exactly what it is. Flutter your eyelids really fast. Look condescending down sideways at them, perhaps down the nose. And talk to them like they're idiots. And just tell them bullshit. Flick it all out of your mouth, as much bullshit as you can. That one over there is green, and it's this far away. That 
Light over there is orange, and it's this far away. I know, because I have a Ph.D. in asshole physics. It's fist in the ass. Who cares about empirical science? Why would I bother with that when I can point and declare? Then I can use mathematics, whether or not I can physically prove my mathematics doesn't matter. It just matters that I can point and declare and use my math. <laughs>